So I'm here in uh, Wisconsin Rapids, one of their old 612s. No idea on the status. Uh, has American signal boxes on it. And it is old. I, it's still hooked up. Let me check. It's the power set. It doesn't look like it's got a switch, but it's it's hooked up to main power. I'm just not sure when they test their sirens. But yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm at the second second EWS 612 in the Rapids. This one was supposed to be inactive. I am not sure. I'd have to check Google, Google Maps to see. But it is facing towards the highway over there. So I'll have to make sure later and check Google Maps to see if this is still working. But yeah, this is the second one over by the storage units. I am here at Washington Elementary in Wisconsin Rapids. Look at this. A yellow ACA Navitronic 6000. Fortunately, it is not active. This T121 took that over. But it looks like this T121 has been here for a while. It's already rusting cabinet there. But this thing, this thing's rare. Um, yellow is really cool. They're very rare. And I'm not sure why it hasn't been taken down since it's right here. I don't know if Sheboygan Warning Systems does the Rapids area, but I would love to see this thing get refurbished. That'd be really cool. Do you even know if it still works? That'd be also really cool. So yeah. Well, last stop of the day, we're here at Port Edwards, Coated Banshee. Last one that we know of, at least here in Wisconsin. I don't know if there's any more anywhere else, but this one is also deactivated, but it's coated, which is very, very rare and very cool. This one's probably been deactivated for ages, but I do not know of any videos. I've only heard audio, but unfortunately, this thing is deactivated. And I would love for some enthusiast to come and repair it. But it's been sitting here rotting away over here in Port Edwards. But this is a very, very cool find. You don't get to see that every day. 